Former Prime Minister Imran Khan has filed a petition through his lawyers in the Supreme Court, calling for a judicial commission to investigate the rigging which took place in the February 8th elections. With the media, election observers and politicians from almost every political party acknowledging that PTI's mandate was stolen, a thorough independent investigation is needed to clear up how the people's mandate was brazenly stolen. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan has predicted a short tenure for the current government formed illegally on stolen votes of PTI, estimating it to last only five to six months. Speaking to reporters during his jail trial inside the Adela jail, Imran Khan said, unquote, the caretaker government, the election commission and the establishment are all one, unquote. He added that his party would hold a rally on 23rd March with all opposition parties and stakeholders who became victims of election rigging. Imran Khan expressed apprehensions over the IMF program, stating that he was against a landing another IMF plan prior to any form of political stability in the country. He said, and quote, I told the IMF not to issue loans until there is political stability in the country, unquote. Imran Khan continues to be illegally incarcerated for the 228th day. Prominent Pakistani journalist Dr. Moit Pirzada, along with world-renowned investigative journalist and bureau chief of The Intercept, Orion Grimm, briefed the media in Washington, D.C. on the collapse of democracy as well as the severe human rights violations taking place in Pakistan. Organized by California Democrat and human rights activist Dr. Asif Mahmood, speakers also included Eric Sperling, executive director of Just Foreign Policy, and PTI USA leader Sajad Berkey. Ryan Grimm said that the congressional hearing taking place Wednesday is historic, while adding that the removal of Imran Khan would also be an important topic in the hearing where Donald Lu, the U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for South Asia, would testify. Grimm read a portion of the infamous cipher out loud in which Donald Lu threatened Pakistan's ambassador Asad Majid, saying it was important for the media to have context before the hearing on Wednesday. Interior Minister Mohsen Nakhvi, who oversaw severe human rights violations during his tenure as the caretaker chief minister of Punjab, has suggested that there may be an upcoming crackdown on social media access. In his interaction with reporters, the interior minister evaded a question on why X, formerly known as Twitter, is blocked in Pakistan. He further stated that the country needed better laws to regulate internet free speech. Pakistan was recently downgraded to an authoritarian regime by The Economist after its curbs on social media, choking mainstream media, abducting journalists as well as state violence against political opponents. A panel of doctors spoke out at the UN about the horrors and suffering they saw Palestinians face in Gaza as Israel's onslaught and blockade continued to make the healthcare system unviable. The doctors came to the UN to call out the assault on Gaza's medical system. Israel has completely blocked the Gaza Strip, refusing to allow medical supplies or food since October 7, 2023, when it began its brutal campaign in which it has killed almost 32,000 Palestinians.